Which is more fattening, overeating peanuts or overeating sweets? This question was tested directly in one study. Give group A a fixed amount of peanuts on top of their existing diet, give group B a fixed amount of sweets. Importantly, these were given out in equal portions. The amount of peanuts and sweets that subjects had to consume had the same calorie value. So what happened? Place your bets. Consuming sweets on top of their existing diet to the tune of 20 calories per kilogram of body weight for two weeks resulted in weight gain. No shit Sherlock. This will not surprise anyone, I assume. However, the same 20 calories per kilogram of body weight per day from peanuts did not result in the same level of weight gain. And this might surprise some people because of the a calorie is a calorie sentence. So let's use this study to explain some mechanisms. Participants were given these foods and asked to consume them on top of their existing diet. So there is always the possibility of food recall error, which is very common in free living studies. But Let's park that for one moment. Firstly, sweets are primarily carbohydrates with a large proportion of that coming from sugar. Peanuts, on the other hand, are higher in protein, fat, and fiber. Protein has a higher thermic effect than carbohydrates. So consuming a higher protein diet can help promote weight loss because the overall energy cost of that diet will increase. On top of this, fiber can reduce the digestibility of other foods. So higher fiber intakes can reduce the metabolizable energy of your diet. Metabolizable energy is the difference between gross energy intake and energy output in the form of urine and feces. So as an extreme, 1000 calories from sugar is going to behave very differently in the body than 1000 calories from protein and fiber. And calorie balance proponents shouldn't dispute this. No one should claim that all macronutrients are metabolized the same. But this concept of metabolizable energy has been specifically examined in nuts. Various studies have shown via feces and urine examination that not all energy from nuts is metabolized. One study showed that the percentage of dietary fat from the diet when excreted is significantly higher when ingesting peanuts versus peanut butter and peanut oil. Another study showed that 84 grams of almonds per day reduced the total fat digestibility of the diet by nearly 10% and the overall energy digestibility of the diet by 5%. The overall energy availability has been shown to be overestimated in cashews, pistachios and walnuts as well. Another study showed that the metabolizable energy from natural almonds was lower than roasted almonds and chopped roasted almonds. Again, indicating that food processing can impact how your body metabolizes food. So the metabolizable energy from nuts is often lower than the apt water system predicts. And this can vary by type of nut, as well as the form that you consume that nut in. In small quantities, this isn't likely to lead to huge fluctuations, and it definitely isn't something you need to be obsessing about. But it does highlight that the calories in versus calories out equation has a lot more complexities than some people realize.